Kyle. Your name's Kyle, you're 42. <laughs> Wolverhampton. And you destroy pubs for a living, is that right? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Here's your first question, £100. In the children's stories, what is the occupation of Mary Poppins? A, a nanny. B, prison warden. C, nun. D, traffic warden. I want to make the joke that it's B, but it's A. Final answer? Yep. Well done, you've got £100. Yay! Yay! The next question will get you two hundred per ten pounds, Kyle. Ooh. On the standard <laughs> soccer football pitch, what is always taken from a central spot twelve yards from the goal line? A free kick, B goal kick, C corner kick, D penalty kick. Penalty. On the standard on penalty kick, final answer? Yeah. Final. You're correct. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I don't know why I debated it to be fair. I thought, a central spot. Mm. That's you uh. up to 200. 300 pounds. Which of these describes a man who murders his wife? Um. You can use 50 50. 50 50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never heard about myself. Okay, the options remaining are A, blue bottle, and C, blue beard. I don't know blue beard, because it makes sense in my head. Is that final answer? Probably my final answer, yeah. You're correct, Kyle. You've got three Yeah! I've never heard that myself. Really haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, your oh, fourth yeah, question yeah. gets you up to 500 pounds. Which yep. of these is a region of Russia? A. Anatolia. B. Mesopotamia. C. Siberia. D. Patagonia. E Estonia. <laughs> Siberia, right? Is that your final answer? Don't yeah. ask me. Unless you want to use a lifeline. Final answer? Uh, Siberia. Hey, Dreadbond paid off mate. So this is your last question. We go with zero. And remember this is a leaderboard, so you don't want to risk it and, and be shit. Because you look yeah. shit on the leaderboard. You don't want to be mugs on zero. I'd be a Okay, a person who refrains from alcohol is said to be on the what? A train, B wagon, C bus, D elephant. Definitely wagon, I know that one. Final answer? Indeed. You're correct. Yeah. And you up to a thousand car, you can't go away with no points. Question six for two thousand points. Who wrote and directed the 1977 film, Annie Hall? Is it A, Martin Scorsese, B, Woody Allen, C, George Lucas, D, Peter Bogdanovich? Well, I've only not heard of one of them. Mm. Um, You've you got three lifelines left. And it's not George Lucas, and it's not Scorsese, because Scorsese is like war. I'm going to say Woody Allen. I'm pretty sure about that one. Final answer? Yeah. Okay, you thought it through, you talked it. You've got £2,000. Correct. Well done, well Kyle. See, you seem like you know what you're doing then. I know. I know Scorsese is more of like gangster films and Lucas is nerdy, so. <laughs> hmm. Which of these European countries does not have a monarch? A. Spain. B. Norway. C. France. D. Sweden. Everyone else probably knows the answer to this. But I'm going to have to uh, ask the audience. Okay, start with Mike. Say one letter. So, A. Spain. B. Norway. C. France. D. Sweden. I think it's France. Shirley? Uh, C. France. Nigel? C. You broke up. Just as you said C, you said C. Carmen? France. Martin? France. And I'd say France too. Are you yeah, going to go with no the audience? 100% France? I think I'm choosing France, yeah. It's correct. Well done, audience. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Give it to 4,000 pounds, Kyle. Who'd have thought it? Okay. 
for eight thousand pounds. In which month of 1939 did Britain declare war on Germany? A. August. B. September. C. October. D. November. Yeah. Uh, can I hear the options again? They are August, September, October, November. I'm going to go for September. You're risking it. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. So, you've said B, September. If you'd gone August, you'd have lost your money. You'd have lost your money for October. But if you'd gone November, you'd have lost your money. Somehow, Kyle, you've got it right. Woo! <laughs> Sixteen thousand. Do you want? To, oh yeah, I'm gonna ask you if you want to set your second net. Do you want to set your second net at sixteen thousand, Kyle? Uh, or do you want to carry on? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll set it. I don't trust myself now. Okay. Which of these is a name for a young fish? A. Fry. B. Grill. C. Boil. D. Roast. It's got to be fry. You know, like the uh, saying, small fry. It's got to be fish. It's got to be fr uh, you fry, yeah. Answer? Yeah. You're correct, Kyle. You're up to 16,000. You can't lose them, no. Can't oh. lose them points. Okay. 32,000, so you can't lose on this one. You've still got two lifelines. Yep. Which Coronation Street character was played by Gene Alexander? Is it Annie Walker? Elsie Tanner? Minnie Caldwell or Hilda Ogden? That's just a selection of names for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, what you phone a friend or ask the host? <clears throat> Can I phone the friend? Yes. Who are you going to ask? I'm going to ask Mike. <laughs> You've just made it. <laughs> <laughs> No one else looks like they've watched Coronation Street, though. What about? <laughs> <laughs> Might have thought he was around when the uh, characters were on. <laughs> exactly, Mike was around when he was born. Yeah, but you're not allowed. To, you're not allowed to watch Coronation Street with a beard like that. <laughs> so Mike basically saying he doesn't know. So. Uh, uh, it would be 100% guess because. Unfortunately, I have never seen a single episode of Coronation Street. <laughs> well, I'm going to go with D. You reckon D, Hilda Ogden? So you've still got one lifeline. Um, so, what was what was the options again? They were Pop Annie up. Walker, Elsie Tanner, yeah. Minnie Caldwell, or Hilda Ogden. I'm going to go complete guess and say Annie Walker. A, Annie Walker. <laughs> Complete and utter guess. Uh, right. So Mike said D, Hilda Ogden. You've gone for A, Annie Walker. If yeah. you'd have asked me and used your lifeline, I know the answer. I knew what it was. I'd have gone for oh. D, Hilda Ogden. The answer is D, Hilda Ogden. Right, I knew it too, but look at that nod. Which means you go away with 16,000 points, Kyle. Yeah, I'll take it. Not bad. Hey. Yeah. It's not bad. I straight on my hands every weekend. So. <laughs> well, I didn't think about that. I thought Mike was more the most experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mike. It worked Fuck quite up. well, that. <laughs> no, that was fun. Hey, you did alright, to be fair. And you sat your dad at the time as well.